Good morning children how are you all i hope all of you are fine and safe inside your homes now today we are going to start with third chapter in english that is colorful shoes i repeat we are going to start with third chapter in english that is colorful shoes now before starting with the story first let us find out all the key words so that you so that you can easily understand the chapter so now first let us start with hard word so the first hard word is football strip so what do you mean by that what do you mean by football strip it means that a uniform which is to be worn to differentiate between the teams a uniform which is supposed to be worn to differentiate between the teams which we wear during the football match so that is what we call a football strip second which we have is proper so what do you mean by proper proper is a word which we use every day so proper it means according to a general standard proper it means according to a general standard in the picture also you can see that a football strip it means a uniform which that boy is wearing and there are parts there are certain parts of uniform like there are pads attached to knee so that you don't injure your knee so this is what do you mean by football strip which is a uniform to be worn to differentiate between the teams and second which we had is proper which means according to a general standard now let us move to the third one outsole now what do you mean by outsole the outer sole of a shoe especially the sport shoe the outer sole of the shoe is what you actually mean by outsole so that is when you say a outer sole an outer sole of a shoe especially a sport shoe then it is known as out sole last is shin pads now what do you mean shin s h i n shin pads it means the pads which we wear to protect ourselves to protect our knees even in the picture you can see that to protect our knees when we play during the match so that is what we mean by shin pads so now we have studied all the hard words so now let us start with the story so now i will read it out so girls i have some good news for you inside this envelope so somebody say we don't know who it is first of all so girls i have some good news for you in this envelope so there's a envelope in the picture you can see that and he is saying i have got some good news your pe teacher that is a physical education teacher has asked me to give you these give this to your parents and don't open it so the man standing over there is telling that your pe teacher has given me to hand over this to you and you have to give it to your parents you do not have to open it so now next what happens back at jane's house it means there's a kid called jane and so when he is at home dad quick open this mr lewis says there's some good news inside so what's the good news we still don't know so he is asking his dad to open this envelope for him say hello to me first jane so what is his dad saying he's saying first please say hello to me and then he will open up with the envelope your pe teacher is starting football lessons for you girls next week so what is happening that he is saying that your pe teacher is starting football lessons for you next week so they are really happy they are really very excited wow really football can i score 15 goals so Jane is asking can i score 15 goals wow really football so he is saying oh yes you can the school will lend you each a ball to practice in the evening so the school will lend you a ball that which you can practice in the evenings so great and so what is the next thing well let me see each child will need an old t-shirt so what is that envelope saying that each child will need an old t-shirt a t-shirt which is very old and not a new one a pair of shorts and socks so what all things do we need an old t-shirt a pair of shorts and socks what about a jersey and shoes with studs can i have a real football strip so jane is asking so what about a jersey and a shoe with stud and shoes with studs can i have a real football strip so he is saying mm, no sorry except for shoes mr lewis wants you all to have new shoes we will go to the market tomorrow to look a good pair so he is saying that he is wanting all of you to get a pair of new shoes and so he is telling that they will go to the market tomorrow to look for a good pair 
Jen begs her father while he reads on. No real football things. He is saying no real football things meaning will not have anything back in her room. Jen thinks to herself. So, Jen is thinking herself. I am going to make sure dad buys football shoes proper ones. So, he is saying I am going to make sure that dad has to buy football shoes and that too proper ones. Goals just I can score goals just the way FIFA does. So, FIFA is what? It is a football it is a football association which happens all around the world. So, he say, uh, she is saying that I can score goals just the way as FIFA does. FIFA heroes do. So, he is saying that I uh, sorry she is saying that I will score goals just as the FIFA heroes do. I bet the FIFA champions always had proper football boots with studs. So, what is she saying that she is betting she is very sure she is saying that the champions of FIFA that is the FIFA champions had always got a, a very football very nice football boots again with the studs. So, I bet they did not have to wear any shoes. So, Jen is saying that they did not have to wear any ordinary shoes they had got the best shoes with the studs. So, this is what Jen is saying. So, now will Jen get the new football shoes or she will just get the ordinary one and she will not get the best one. So, what happens next that we will continue in tomorrow's video. So, so far we have covered hard words and half part of the story and what happens next that is is she getting the shoes or she has to manage with the ordinary ones we will see it tomorrow. Thank you and have a nice day.